Hey guys, welcome to you Games video to help you guys get Fallout 4 started. Now, if you're like me, perhaps you've got a slightly dated PC or laptop, but you're trying to hold it together for as long as you can so you can play all these next-gen games. So if you're like me and perhaps you don't have what's required, you might be experiencing this problem. When you start Fallout for the first time and we get it all to detect everything, you can see that it sets it for low quality. Let's do this again. Um, all right, and you're so excited, you're ready to get going, you press play, and what happens, it tries to load. Bit of a problem, so it tries to load again, and then we get the black screen of death. So, what is wrong? Well, first of all, don't worry. It's totally fixable. If this is the first time you've ever actually downloaded a game from Steam, or you've enjoyed a PC game, this is all part and parcel of the fun. Imagine this is just a little mini game before you get to play the game, and it's all about changing code, which is like as exciting, as sexy as it gets. So how do we do it? How do we take it to the next level? Well, hopefully, for some of you, you might be able to get away with this. If you just select window mode and borderless window, so it will be like this little pop out here but without the blue section, you might be able to get the right resolution for the size of your screen and if that's the case then when you press play it will work, which is thumbs up, but the problem is as you can see here, it's in a sort of awful tucked away in the top right hand corner, it's not got the right resolution for me, uh, I could probably get away with it but you know what, it's going to be as immersive as going to work every morning and that's unenjoyable. So, let's do something different. Let's change some files. Here's the main file that you're going to need to change. It's an any file. It's a preference file. Don't worry, we're not altering the game. We're not changing crazy lines of code. We're literally just telling the game, hey, this is how I like to play it. So, what we need to do first of all is go to Documents. Go to My Games. And Fallout 4. Now you should then be presented with these files. This is the one that we want to change and as you can see loads of stuff very confusing. What does it all mean? Well, it's just very very simple language for the computer to understand. If you want to do a quick control F and find something what we're looking for is B maximize window so you can find that nice and easy and these are the things that we're going to edit. So what we need to do first of all is have the maximize window 0, B borderless equals 1, B full screen equals zero. And then what we're going to go down here, just to make it nice and easy, we're going to make it idiot proof. We're going to say to the computer, don't worry about trying to make this full screen yourself. These are the dimensions that we have. So for mine, the height is 1020 and the width is nine, sorry, 1080 and the width is 920. So change that to whatever sort of suits you guys as well. You can find out your own resolutions and then all we need to do is save. Before you make any changes to this, it's always wise to just cut uh, or copy and paste this somewhere else as just like a little default file. Now, if you want to make this super tight and really do this properly, you don't really have to do this in truth, but sometimes it's nice to just do it in all places. If you navigate through to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Fallout 4, you'll see that we can see some other files here as well. You have to double click into the Fallout 4 again to find that prefs any. So your link is going to look something like this indeed if you've downloaded it from Steam. Again, just open this up, navigate down to these sides and change these things to B, maximize window zero, so on and so forth down to the right sizes. Save again. Fantastic. And now when we play this, you'll see that we have tricked Fallout into working on our computer. So don't worry guys, there was nothing ever to worry about. Your dollars, your pounds have been well spent. I'm looking forward to seeing you all out in the wasteland. I hope you have a great time. I really hope that this just allowed you to get out there a little bit quicker. All the best, come back soon, subscribe for more.